I'm Dave Kay, Technical Director for Adlib Audio. Yeah, we, we first we started off with um, the Lake systems using the Contour EQs, which we've still got a few of, and the Meta EQs. Um, as soon as the DLPs came out, we we invested quite quite heavily in, in those systems, and it became like the core part of our of our control systems. Uh, since it's gone to the the Lab Lake platform, we've been very in kind of helping them develop the platform and also implementing it and and that is taking the taking our control systems further in, into the future uh, and also developing the audio transport mechanism and using the Dante format to to aid that um, great thing about the lab lake platform uh, is that the the AES analog and also the digital IO uh, it's the only processor that I know that has the fallback uh, for, for, for if one if one um, format fails, you can fall back to a like the AES or the the Dante. The the one of the key reasons for choosing the Lake system is is because of of the user interface. It is really really quick and easy to use. Um, the screen is very responsive. The audio is is as fast. Uh, it doesn't really take a lot of um, bandwidth on the network to actually transfer the the control information. So we have since since the year since the, our first adoption of it, run it with uh, tablets and Wi-Fi. One of the, one of the key benefits of the the Lake platform is the the multiple grouping. Uh, so you. You can EQ parts of the system, you can delay parts of the system. It doesn't actually really matter where you start, especially on a large arena system. Uh, you always find when you're, when you're timelining a, a system, you can kind of end up tying yourself in knots and realize that you've got to start adding delay onto the whole system when you come to the final part of, of, of the time alignment. But the, the lake system is, that's the key benefit, is this multiple grouping. You can EQ the system as a whole, you can EQ the system uh, just one part, but you can have even within groups. You can have sub subgroups uh, that allow you to contour the PA system from top to bottom, whilst or, or mute the left, mute the right. So it's it's a key a key fact of the the LM44s. We're really looking forward to them coming online to basically replace our matrix mixers and the ability to to, to stack them. Uh, to, to effectively replace what a, an old DLP was doing uh, with with the full AES and analog uh, inputs is, is something that we can't wait to get our hands on, and uh, it will form the core of our front of house control systems. Having a matrix mixer on every show. The good thing of the good thing about the all of the Lake stuff is that it's completely compatible with a PLM amplifiers. Uh, you can use DLPs, you can use Contours, you can use LM26s, LM44s, all on the same network. And uh, that, that is another, another thing, so we can integrate old and new systems in venues that we might have installed before or older equipment that needs to go out on jobs. Uh, so ha have, having everything on one, on one user interface and one network is, is fantastic for us. To sum up, really, the speed of speed of use, uh, the speed of setup, uh, ha having the multiple groups, being able to time align a system really, really quickly, and it doesn't matter where you start. You start with the bit that's working, and 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 you can just build the system as as things come online. Um, it's just a really good user graphical user interface. You can see what you're doing all the time. It's really responsive. You can walk around the venue with a wireless solution and it just makes it really like really easy and a dream to use